Ladies and gentlemen, from the legendary O2 Arena, London, England, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing and K2 Promotions Managing Director Tom Loeffler, along with Triple G Promotions, are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the middleweight championship of the world. Sponsored by Tesla Bank, Expo 2017, Capital Holding, StubHub, JD Sports, WeBuyAnything.com, and Daffabet, broadcast by Sky Sports Pay-Per-View and HBO. Sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, President and Steward in Charge tonight, Charles Giles. The World Boxing Council, President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Alberto Leon. The International Boxing Federation, President and Supervisor tonight, Darrell F. Peoples. The International Boxing Organization, President and Supervisor tonight, Ed Levine. The three judges scoring from Italy, Guido Cavalieri. From Canada, Craig Metcalf. From Canada, Benoit Rousseau. And in charge of the action at the bell, World Championship veteran referee, Marlon Wright from Canada. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the officials are in place and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring and they are ready. Boxing fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the O2 Arena, London, England. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with his trainer, Dominic Engel, wearing red with gold trim. Official weight, 11 stone, five pounds, one half ounce or 159.4 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one, consisting of 36 fights, 36 victories, including 25 wins by knockout, with 16 stoppages inside the distance in his last 20 contests. Tonight, he is the challenger. He's the fighting pride of Sheffield, Yorkshire, England the undefeated welterweight champion of the world, the special one, Hell Special K. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Abel Sanchez, Officially weighing in at 11 stone, 5 pounds, or 158.9 pounds. As a professional, also a perfect record. 35 fights, 35 victories, including 32 wins by knockout, including 22 consecutive KOs, and he has KO'd every opponent he's faced over the last eight years. This Olympic medalist, from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, is the reigning, defending, undefeated, universally recognized, true middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, a.k.a. Ripple. Okay, gentlemen, I gave you both my instruction in the dressing room. I want a good team fight. Remember, protect yourself at all times, and you must obey my command at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. The moment of truth then for Kel Brook. The big fight he's been chasing for years has finally arrived. But 
it arrives at middleweight against the man universally recognized as the most fearsome middleweight on the planet and one of the greatest of all time. It's a massive step up, it's a massive gamble for the Sheffield man. We are underway. Scheduled for 12. How will Brook cope at middleweight against the fearsome Gennady Golovkin? The man who has forgotten what the final bell sounds like. Well, you talked, Alex, ahead of the fight. Yeah, just how big Kel Brook is as a uh -huh. welterweight, and you can see that here. He's not physically massively smaller than Golovkin. No, he certainly isn't. But the problem that Brook has got, he's probably never been in a ring with somebody as big as this on fight night. No, certainly not. He normally has the size and weight advantage, Nick, on fight night, that's for sure. Kel Brook can normally get in the ring around the 160 to 165 pound limit after he makes 147 pounds he's physically massive for a welterweight so he'll be much more comfortable here tonight I would imagine he's weighing around the 170 mark 172 possibly probably believe it or not around the same weight as Treble G who makes middleweight quite comfortably Oh, that's a heavy body shot. Oh, he's, oh. Really here. he's never been hit like that before. That body shot was huge. And it was one of a salvo of heavy punches yeah. that Golovkin landed. And the Kazakhstan man looks like he wants to make this a short and painful debut at middleweight for Kel Brook. Yeah, that was a very heavy left hook to the head after that body shot but as well. Look at the response coming back from Brook and listen to the reaction of the crowd. Well, that's the kind of fight that Triple G wants here. He wants a shootout. He wants to stand and trade. It's going to suit him perfectly. Well, his punches even sound different, don't they? From most middleweights. But that left hook that wobbled Kilbrook caught him kind of on the side of the face. There's another one. He doesn't want to take too many of them that after the body shot. The body shot was a great punch, but the left hook after, which followed up, the dipped an easy kill, Brook. Looks such a damaging shot. Well, he's responded well here, Brook. Going to work with the uppercut and getting good success against Golovkin. What a first round this has been. Wow. Good body shot from Kel Brook there as well. Good straight right hand to the body. Some of his punch picking here has been pretty impressive. It has. He's not wasting anything. He knows he's going to be on the back foot. Dominic Ingall has been preparing him in the Winko Bank gym to be backing up. What a first round. What an ovation for Kel Brook, who looked like he was going to be banged out of there early. But he had the better of the later exchanges against Triple G, who's already marked up under that left eye. Well, this is that big volley. There it is, that left yeah. hook to the head that I was talking about there, Nick. Landed just on the... The body shot goes in first, the hand comes down. There it is, right on the cheekbone almost. His instinct kicked in and he grabbed hold, but then came back with this. Good right uppercut there from Kelbrook, followed by a right, left, right. Ten seconds. I tell you, if the rest of the fight is as good as that first round, we are in for a real treat tonight. Kelbrook in the red. Triple G's made a quick start there, Nick. Trying to establish his dominance straight away. Heavy jab, stepping with his jab as well. We see him do it. Gets plenty of force on that jab. But he's testing a few counters. On the way in from Brook. As he advances. Oh, 
have seen Brook box under pressure before and handle it pretty well. He's doing a pretty tasty job here in the early going. You know, that fight against Sean Porter when he won his title back in 2014, he was on the back foot for most of the first half of that fight. Yeah. And it was always in control of it under intense pressure. Nice double jab there. Yeah. Ended up with a little cuffing left hand round the side of the guard as well. Jabs back in the tongue for Treble G there. As he ominously stalks forward. It's when they get to these positions that you would worry about Kelbrook. Uh, and the other thing, does he carry power at middleweight Brook? Can he discourage Golovkin's forward march? He's landing cleanly, but are these punches having any effect on Golovkin? Well, Triple G's been patient now. He started quickly. He's now being very, very patient. Well, he needs to be. Brooke with oh, a beauty whoa. on that uppercut. Electrifies the arena. Oh, oh up nicely here. This is really impressive stuff from Brooke. Now, does it spark a response? From the Kazakhstani, no, it's Brook still pulling it on here. Unbelievable. Oh, Heavy is, shots in that for Kel Brook. Wow. It's a tremendous start for him. Now he's recovered from that left hook that almost had him on the floor. Treble G felt those. He really did feel them. You could see with the reaction and the remarks on his face. He felt the blunt of those shots. He felt the weight of those shots from Kelbrook. It's a good round for Kelbrook. You're looking too much for it, Abel Sanchez says. Well, I wonder if Abel Sanchez, who's seen it all, of course, was expecting something like this. A very positive start, not for his man, yep. but for the guy in the other corner. What? Drawn from Treble G's nose there. Oh, watch out. Here comes that uppercut. And that's what it's from. Brook will be hoping for another round like the second. It's more of a stumble there. Treble G stood on Kelbrook's foot as he switched from south orthodox to south part. He's straight back on him, isn't he? Yeah. He knows he's going to have to bring his best here tonight, Golovkin. But Abel Sanchez said, don't look for it. Don't rush it. Good jab from Treble G and another. That's what normally sets up everything for this man. Oh, he is upping the tempo significantly here at the start of this round. Golovkin. The body shot there from Trevor G. One and a those, jab. One of those signature body shots. Yeah. And Brook not looking so comfortable now. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He, He's giving up gesture, something away there. Yeah. yeah pointing to, to the, the eye. Yeah. To the, to the eye, the face, the side of the face. Where he took that left hook in the first round, Nick, that yeah. heavy left hook that Treble G ripped to the body, then he, as the hand came down, he switched it up to the head. Oh, that's a big right hand. It really is. Well, this isn't looking like the second round, is it? No, no, it's not at all. Treble G, rather ominously, has found his range now. Yeah, there's a nasty look about him here, Golovkin. Yeah, there he is. Pouring at that eye socket again, that right eye. Now, as you say, he's giving it away. Yeah, you can't give anything away to a man like Treble G. 
You can't let them know in any which way that you're suffering or you might have a problem because he's like a shark, a great white shark. He'll feed on that. In fact, that's probably an injustice. He's more than Megalodon, isn't he? You yeah. cannot give this man anything. Here comes Brook again, though. Showing real resilience. Big right hand from Brook. Oh, he's caught him clean. There's blood coming from Kel Brook somewhere now as well. The nose. Nick, I think maybe. Oh, some damage being done in there at the moment in this round. And most of the damage is being done by the champion here. Stepped it up significantly. Yeah, you see how he just edges his feet in. In position to punch, chin down. Butch hands cusped around his eyebrows almost. And Butch's right eye is not looking good. No, it doesn't. There's blood coming from somewhere. I think it's the nose. Oh, Brook digging in. A shot after the bell there. Yeah, the crowd saw that and reacted. Oh, Brook was still firing back, but that was not a good round for him. The damage seemed to get done early. I want to see jabs. I want to see something in here when he's up against the ropes, all right? Then throw the jab. Get closer, baby. Come on. You're reaching for that hook. Hey, it's a matter of time. Just keep pounding on that, okay? Now, when you're throwing the body, say, like, oh, come with your arm. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. really is starting to connect with these hooks upstairs. Yeah, that's a good right hand there from Kel Brook off the ropes. That was probably the best shot he landed in that round. He followed up after that as well with a little salvo. But you got the feeling in that round that Treble G had maybe just made an inroad. That's a damaged eye. Swelling starting to come up. Again. Landing some nice right hand counters, Brook, but is he landing enough of them? Can he keep Golovkin no. quiet? It doesn't no, seem to be. No, no, he can't. He's, he's advancing now, Golovkin, and he's looking to land these heavier shots. And Abel Sanchez was calling for him in the corner to start stepping it up now. And Brook showing that he's not going anywhere. Suddenly, that ring looks very, very small as Golovkin gets this footwork going. Something remember Matthew Macklin saying all those yeah. years ago. He said, he said, wherever I wanted to go, he was there. He was there. He was just right there. He just could not get anywhere. Couldn't no. get any freedom at all. And we're seeing something similar here. Brook can't get any space at all. Golovkin with that superior footwork of his just cuts down the ring and manoeuvres Brook where he wants him. Gets for that uppercut again there, Brook. Good jab there again, okay, it's just that solid advancing jab that gets so much weight on. Is that the best jab in boxing right now, Nick? Well, if there's a better one, you need to show it to me. I'm not seeing an awful lot of Brook coming forward here at the moment, he just no. keeps getting pushed back and yeah. back. That body shot, missed the target from Treble G. Oh, now can he come forward? Tries to be right uppercut, does Brook. Steps in behind that one-two, but Treble G, as he 
so often does, just dips out of the way of it by actually moving towards you. He's so effective with his defence. Normally, most boxers pull away or slip to the side. He actually directly moves his head towards your attack. I'm watching. Inside all see Kel. Bro, that's it. You've got to be there. You're still there. Right. Come on. Come shield. What do you want? What do you want? Golovkin right in front of Brook, Brook just pulling him back. This is a good combination from Golovkin, and Brook's not answering at the moment. What we've seen from him before so many times in the past, he softens yeah. his man up, then he goes for the finish, and Brook is in trouble here. Then a little bit of grandstanding. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, he's got heart. He sure has. That treble G jab though, Nick. Well, it wasn't just the jab. No. Oh, the hook's coming round. But it's the, the shot that the set guard. everything up here. Yeah. It's broken. Kelbrook down eyes, pawing that eye. That, that eye has not been right from the third round. From the first, maybe, after that left hook, Nick. Could have been. Yeah. Could have been it. Yeah. That left hook to the head in the corner after that body shot landed. He, there was a crunch, and, you know, and he just. It just looked reddened and painful from the very first round. As well as jabs getting through. Stiff arm straight right, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was going to say a jab, wasn't it? A jab, yeah. it was a straight right. Yeah, jolting which right came hand. out like a jab, yeah. Nick, but you're quite right. Yeah. He went far different. He got the weight on his right leg when he threw that there. I just got a feeling here now. Oh, he's that pulling it on. He's yeah. pulling it on. Brooks in trouble. Brook is in a lot of trouble. Oh, these are heavy shots as well. There's a towel neck. But where did that come from that time? Yeah. Dominic Ingo. Yeah, he said that's enough. Ah, it's over. He said it's enough. Can you believe it? Well, well, well. Gallant performance from Brook, all well, the same. But he was unravelling fast. And I think Dominic Ingo has done the right thing, he saved his man, there's something not right with that eye as well, he's been bothered by that for some time, now some are saying that's, that's coming a bit early, caught me completely by surprise, I must admit when the towel came in, I wasn't even sure it came in from the corner, but it obviously did, well he put everything into it didn't he, absolutely everything, yeah and there's that, Still pouring away at that eye. But it wasn't that typical Kolovkin. Once he knew he had his man in trouble, he went after him and he gave him no breathing room at all. Well, if these fans are booing the stoppage, what did you think, Alex? Was it premature for you? Well, I think that Dominic Ingle knew that Kel Brook was in a lot of pain, yeah, is, a lot look. of trouble, and it wasn't going anywhere. I don't think this was only going to go one way, Nick, don't you think? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, he'd been waving that towel for a while. Yeah, there, yeah. he's just pointed to that left eye. Yeah. Dominic Ingle knows. Kel Brook looked really, didn't like he knew what was going on. Well, somewhere in there, Kelbrook is being checked over by the medics. But it's yet another knockout for Gennady Golovkin. But there were moments in that fight where I think it was a little bit tougher and rougher than Gennady Golovkin was expecting.
Kelbrook certainly earned his respect. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger's corner, the red corner, indicated to referee Marlon Wright to call a halt to the contest. Challenger retires the winner by TKO victory. His record now, 36 and 0, 33 KOs, 23 consecutive wins by knockout. Still, the undefeated universally recognized middleweight Champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, a.k.a. Ripple.